What's going on, everybody? It's Jim Dobbs. Next season, welcome to episode 24 of our Pokemon Violet Let's Play. In the last episode, you guys, we took on Ortega. I had to think of his name for a second. And uh, we waxed that fucking ass. We were able to take him down. We took down the fairy type uh, member of Team Star. And we got two more missions before every badge is completed. And then we just get to the end of the game. So if you have for today's episode, be sure to hit that motherfucking like button. But before we can begin, we must do a speedy quick team recap. I grinded up uh, people in the team, teeny tiny tad bit, because on my chart here, the recommended level, because we're about to face the false dragon titan. So the level recommendation is 55. I got everyone up to 54 except for two members, and I'm going to be honest with you, the reason then is because I ran out of experience candies, and I don't feel like grinding. So, first up, we have the blind master himself, Slippy, our serious nature, Claude Zara, Rockin' Earthquake, Poison Jab, Amnesia, and Mega Horm. Next up, we have Rango, our bashful Bramble Gas, rocking Bolt Seed, Infestation, Phantom Force, and Trail Blaze. Next up, we have Bagel, our jolly nature Dock Spun, rocking Play Rough, Charm, Tackle, and Crunch. Next up, we have our starter, Harbinero, our bashful nature Skeleturge, rocking Flamethrower, Torch Song, Shadow Ball, and Realm. Next up, we have Flip Flop, our gentle natured Palafin. Rocking Aqua Jet, Flip Turn, Charm, and Astonish. And last, but certainly not least, we had the newest member of the squad, uh, Kaiju, our brave-natured Arctobax. Rocking Ice Fang, Dragon Claw, Crunch, and Terra Blast. Now, the reason that you can see um, Kaiju is level 53 is because I looked up like, oh, it's level 55. What level does uh, Kaiju evolve? Kaiju evolves at level 54. So, I want to make sure to catch that evolution on camera. So that's why uh, Kaiju is the uh, bottom of the uh, flagpole right now. But I hopefully plan to get to evolve this episode. Um, we need to go here. Uh, we need to set our destination. We gotta go that way. But is there anywhere closer that we can fly to is the question. Let's see. This is where we gotta go. Um, it doesn't look like there's like an actual like good spot to go to we just kind of gotta make our way up there so i guess if what we're, that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna scale this here mountain and if we can get to a high enough vantage point then we can just you know make our way up there um unfortunately we can't get up any waterfalls or else i would actually is there a waterfall in this yep there's a waterfall right there we can't get up any waterfalls right now. I think after the, after this one, we should be able to climb. We should be able to climb after this one, which will be fan-fucking-tastic to finally be able to climb with uh, with Maraid on here. So we have that to look forward to. But we're going to get to the top of this mountain, and we should theoretically be able to just glide down our way at least into the uh, big pool of water that we got to go to. That's what we should be able to do. And, uh... It's called a false dragon, so I'm curious if if it's a Pokemon that looks like a dragon but isn't. Uh-oh, what I run into? Oh, I ran into this. Okay, um, actually, this is a good chance for Kaiju to get a little bit of XP. So we're just going to crunch. Bop. And goodbye, Grievered. You, you're, you're a good boy. I'm... I'm actually kind of sad I didn't get to use Grievered, but I already have one Fire Ghost. I don't need another Fire Ghost. All right, this should be high enough. This should be a high enough vantage point to get there. But like, like I said, I didn't have... I already have one fire ghost on a team. I, I have two ghost types on a team. I didn't want a third. I like to have like a diverse team. You know what I mean? Like if I play this game again, I'll probably wind up having a uh, more... Di oh, well. Making our way down, I guess. At least it spawns us here. Hey there, Nub. So rumor has it the false dragon titan lurks somewhere in this lake, yeah? But not a single person ever caught a glimpse of it. Must be some kind of truly terrifying beast. But how are we supposed to search for a thing when we don't even know what it looks like? Sure would be handy if I just ran into a crying I'm the titan or something. If only, right? I mean, you say that. Wait, it's a false dragon. <gasps> Is this a titan Gyarados? Please tell me that's a titan Gyarados. That'd be so cool. Please. Please tell me. That this is a Titan Gyarados. That would be so sick. Wait, what the fuck? No way. There's no fucking way. Okay, no. I thought that was a shiny Magikarp. I'm about to say, are you fucking kidding me? 
Dude, please. Please, please, please tell me that the false dragon in the middle of this lake is a fucking Gyarados. Please tell me that this thing is a fucking Gyarados. That would be so sick. That would be sick as hell. Please tell me that that is a thing. I keep looking around. Like, I saw the Slowpoke tail, and I thought that that was a uh, shiny Dratini. But say, I'll catch it because it's shiny, but I already have one in uh, Sword and Shield. So I would most likely trade it off uh, for Surprise Trade Saturday. Which you guys totally should check out on my Twitch channel, by the way. Let's see, it's up here. False Dragon. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? It's literally screaming Titan. <laughs> he said, I sure wish it would come at me screaming, I am a Titan. And this thing is literally screaming Titan. I'm like, this thing is huge. Hi, buddy. I, Titan. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, all right, I get it. Oh my god. Oh my god, the false dragon. What typing is this? We're gonna dragon claw it. Okay, we did decent damage with that. Body slam, how much is that doing? I, even better chunk, okay. You're water type, so I'm not going to dragon, so I'm not gonna ice fang. I'm just gonna keep dragon clawing. If we can get dragon dance, that would be great. Ouch. We gotta heal. It's a good thing in between episodes I grab potions. Words we be kind of fucked. It's a Dondozo. I haven't caught a Dondozo yet. If I can get a Dondozo, that would be great. That'd be another step toward. I, I just realized this is a more accurate looking catfish Pokemon than Whiskash. Whiskash is kind of stumpy. This thing is like an actual catfish. I don't know what it just is. I could use Water Pulse. Whatever, I'm just gonna keep spamming Dragon Claw on you, big dog. I'm just gonna keep spamming Water Claw. I'm, I'm not I'm gonna lie, I'm kinda disappointed that it's not a Titan Gyarados, because that would be sick as shit. But this, is, but it, this isn't bad. I'm not gonna say this is bad. And here he goes. He's gone. Oh, there he goes, you can see him. It's the Loch Ness. Let me move. We gotta catch him. We gotta follow him. Come here, bitch. Come here, bitch. Can I get on top of him? I can't. I'm literally just on top of him. All right, so we now we just gotta follow his ass. I'm actually gonna go into the map and take away that uh, waypoint. Um. Okay. Well, it's, the waypoint is gone. Oh, wait, where'd he go? I lost him. I have lost him. Where did he go? <laughs> oh shit. I did not want to run into Avalog. Be completely transparent with you. Did not want this battle to happen. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Where did he go? Where did this fucker go? <laughs> oh, there he is. There he goes. I just... He was right here. Where'd he run off to? I have lost him. He is gone. There he is. Come here, bitch. Or is this just a wild one? I'll, I'll catch a wild one. Dude, this thing is massive. The tight one was big. This one's massive, bro. 54. Okay, well. Um, we're just gonna Dragon Claw this thing. Oh, man. That does... Not a lot. That does not a lot of damage. That's stab too. This thing is as bulky as shit. I think if I get down to the orange. Ow! Go to my bag. We're just gonna max potion. We're just gonna max potion, and I think if I get him down to the orange, a dive ball should be able to catch him. Order up. He threw sushi at me! What a bitch! Fuck you! 
Okay, he was rain dance like an idiot. So now, dive ball should be able to get him. This should be able to catch him. One, two, three. I got him. Dondoza was caught. Thank God. I did not think I'd run into this Pokemon. To be honest with you, Chief. It treats Tatsugiri like its boss and follows it loyally. Though powerful, Dondozo is apparently not very smart. Uh, put it in the box. 485 pounds. Jesus. Alright, so... Oh, he's over here. Oh, hello? Are you a, a Titan Tatsugiri? Uh oh. So these are two titans. Because that Tatsugiri is huge for a Tatsugiri. Yeah, it just it just goes in there. And it's gonna eat the Herba Mystica. Nub, did you find the Titan? So that's it. Sure is one big uh dragon. Wait, is it even a dragon? Or is it a fish? Isn't Tatsugiri actually a dragon type? Huh. Oh. He got him. The little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan. Yeesh, didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. He is the he is the muscle. And Tatsugiri is the dawn. Alright, we're gonna spend our our time healing. Because I meant to heal. The food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm going to dig it up and make a meal of this battle. Or I'm going to dig in and make a meal of this battle. I don't know why I said I read it as dig it up. I cannot tell you why I read it like that. Body slam. Attack. Yes. Attack the greedent. Alright. So the base power of... U is 80. Base power U is also 80. Oh, wait. But if I Terrasolize, it becomes stronger, right? Because it's the same move as my Terra type. No. Ouch. Voided the attack. Okay. Well, we are going to Terrasolize and Terra Blast this thing. All right. Can we please take this motherfucker out? Can we please take this motherfucker out? Can we please take this some bitch out? Care to blast him? I know this isn't gonna oak him, but a boy can dream. That did some decent damage. That was a crit. Jesus. Green and yes. Attack the green. Attack the green. And it's paralyzed. Well. Well. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and heal. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Because, holy shit. This thing is bulky as shit and hits fucking hard. Ouch. And Greedon couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Well, I like how this guy only brings one uh, Pokemon to each Titan battle. Like, that's kind of dumb, right? It's not even something that's super effective against it. I don't expect him to do anything that's super effective because he wouldn't know. But still. And Greedon can't move because Parrot. Fight this thing. And... Come on, Bop. Aqua Tail is going to do it to me. Ah! <laughs> Kaiju, no! I'm a heal Kaiju. I don't give a shit. I, I don't give a shit. I'm healing Kaiju because I want Kaiju to gain that XP. Alright, Rango, you're up. I know Rango would have been the smarter choice because it's, gra because it's a grass type. I just wanted to... I just wanted to use Kaiju. Wait, Max Potion won't work. Revive. I just wanted Kaiju to get the XP. He gets more XP if he's actually in battle. Aqua Tail. Avoided it. 
Well, Greedon's about to die. Does Greedon faint? Yep, it does. Greedon fainted. Bullet Seed should take this thing out. Didn't even need more than one. Way to go, Rango. Proud of you. The Wild Dondozo fainted. And it just sinks into the water. Yep. Just falls in the water. We we did it, Nub. Now that the Titan's taken care of, next up the next up on the menu is that Herba Mystica. Hmm. Whoa, the little sushi guy skipped without being that thing's lunch. Ta ta Titan! What? Does that thing want to fight too? Yes, it wants to fucking fight. It's also the Titan. <laughs> um, okay, I'm about to say, there's a glitch in the Matrix. All right, we're going to Dragon Claw it because this thing is the dragon. Ouch. All right, well, Green's accuracy fell. Mm, big damage, big, big damage. He uses taunt. Does it work on both? No, it's just on the green. Cool. Green fell for the taunt. I did not. So, Dragon Claw this bitch again. Holy shit. That was even more. Alright, Dragon Claw this motherfucker again. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Well. Well. Green might take this thing out. Yep, Green took it out. Damn it, man. Kaiju is gonna get so much XP. Kaiju would have gotten so much XP. And now it goes away. It's, it, he's still here. Yeah, he didn't get any of the XP. It's only a thousand, but still, man. Still, that would have been great. Well, that's all the Titans. Phew, nice job, Nub. That's my hard working little buddy. Maybe the Titan w was both those Pokemon together, like some kind of combo meal. Why Why are you comparing everything to food? I get the feeling that in the anime, Arvin's gonna be the chef of the group. Like, you know how in the anime there's always, it's mainly Brock, but there's always like one person in the group that can cook? It's gonna be Arvin in the Gen 9 anime. Watch, mark my words. The little one came out of here, which means there should be some Herba Mystica inside. Let's go, Nub. They're gonna have eaten all of it, huh? They're gonna have eaten that whole thing, huh? Here we are. That must be it. Okay, they did not eat it. I thought that both of them combined would have eaten it all. Here it is. The last Herba Mystica. Of existence. We are plucking it to make sandwiches. The spicy Herba Mystica. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. It gives your circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins, along with a ton of sweat. You know what's next. It's chow time. Time for sandwich. Sandwiches. Yerd. Hiya. Whoa. And here we go. Trusty Arvin's Chocolate Block Full of Cheer Final Herb Super Sandwich. Squeeze this badge tight and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? We got it. False Dragon Titan defeated. Path of Legends. Sandwich is so hot. Alright, time for the dogs to come out. He's just a good dog. He wants sandwich. Yeah, you can have the sandwich, buddy. You can have the sandwich. Eat up. Now we should be able to climb. Murata will be able to climb up vertical surfaces now. Fucking finally, dude. I would rather have had that than flying before, honestly. I guess it's Mapo Stuff's turn then. Alright, buddy. He is a good boy. His eyes are open. Come on, bud. Eat up. Give him some sandwich. It's gonna make you all better, I promise. 
Nub and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with you with all your favorite with your favorite ball as much as you want. You know, just like we used to. Please get better. That's all I want, really. Yeah. Is Mabo stuff just old? Is he going to get better? Or are we going to find out that he died? I guess we'll never find out because the game's still loading. Mabo stuff. You did your best, bud. Is he not going to get better? Yo. Yo. There's his Pokeball. Oh, now his eyes are open. Roof. Wait. He's getting up. He's getting up. He's walking over. He wants to play. Look at him. Look at the boy. <laughs> Bud. He's so happy. He's so happy. I know, bud. Me too. Yes! And then we pet our dog. We did it! We saved the good boy! <laughs> we saved the goodest of good boy! <laughs> Yes! I think that's the most emotional e scene ever in the history of Pokemon. I think I don't think Pokemon's ever had a more... Uh, Pokemon games ever had any more emotional scene than that. Hello, Nub. This is Turo. What? I don't go again yet. It seems that Maradon has regained all of his powers, except for the power to battle. It should now be able to climb up any vertical surfaces it grabs onto while you're riding on it. If you press B to jump while facing a wall, Maradon will grab onto it, allowing you to climb up vertical surfaces. You can move in any direction you like while climbing by using the left stick. To let go of the wall, just press B once more. I knew you were the right one to entrust to it, Nub. Pa, listen to you like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I have been searching so long for a way to reach you. Because because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Nub back to the lighthouse with you. To the lab on Poco Path. I will reach out once more when you arrive there. Oof. Well. Doesn't even want to like talk to him. Isn't he the professor's son? Is that what he said? I guess you probably already know, but that, that's my dad. Yeah, yep, I figured. I think he mentioned something in the very beginning of the game. Doesn't even want to talk to his son. He's just like, yeah, nobody else can get into the lab but you, so I need you to do this for me. That's a shitty dad. Always buried under his work. Off pursuing his own research. Never at home with me. That's the first time I've ever heard his voice in, in years, you know? Damn. And now what? The first thing I get to be is treated like some kind of errand boy? He's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Maridon probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path at the lighthouse where you and I first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Oof. Yeah. Oh. Dad, where have you been all this time? Is that it? Are we done? I think that's it. Yep, that's it. And I think... Right there is a good a spot as any to wrap up today's episode. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Come below, take the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Shout out to help you help me as a whole. I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take bars, little man.